Welcome to Morning Drawfee, where we take your dumb suggestions and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Julia. Guys, uh, Nathan is still on vacation. Uh, he was just shell-shocked by the amount of love and admiration that you guys give to him every day. Uh, and he had to get away from it. He had he to uh, He had to escape. Um, and we were on vacation yesterday for Labor Day, but we're back now. Um, I'm here with Julia, and we're going to be drawing a suggestion from Ashley Sweet, who says, Again, I insist you draw what is lurking in Nathan's beard which I think we have to do this week because Nathan knows what's lurking in there, um, but yeah. it's up to us to speculate, I think. Yeah, so, definitely. Julia, do you want to go ahead and uh, like rough out a quick a quick Nathan for me? I'll rough out a quick Nathan. All right. You, yeah, I know you've got the, This is in your, your quiver, so to speak. I can uh, do this. Just like instant Nathans. <laughs> if, you were, if you were a, uh, a sorcerer, that would be one of your... your I draw your, uh, Nathans every quick, day. Yeah, yeah, that's like your, one of your daily slots. You just got that ready to go. Uh huh. So, all right, and I feel like yeah, we got to make his beard like extra. Maybe exaggerate his beard a little bit. This is like I feel like maybe whatever is in there has has swelled. It's like some sort of horror movie situation mm-hmm. where uh, you know he had a. It, it was content to live there. It was like some, maybe like a, <laughs> maybe it's like a twin that got eaten in the womb or something like that. <laughs> and now it's like it's back. Yeah. Or or maybe it's like you know a nest of spiders. I got um, I got spiders on the brain, oh, Julia. Well, that sounds like a medical condition you should have checked out. <laughs> I mean, really. I did. It's more like, well, I I hope that I mean I think that's part of why I've got them on the brain is because I'm worried that maybe they are actually in my brain. But more specifically, I was outside all weekend, um, like doing yard work because I'm I'm a dad now. You're um, super fancy. Yeah. With you uh, a I'm yard. Not a, who has I'm yards? not an actual dad, but I am a dad in all in all the ways that it counts. I have a yard. I do yard work. Have um, you started tucking in uh, flannel shirts into your pants? I, I I do on occasion. I like I like tucking a shirt. I've I've caught myself in a tuck. I'll like wake up. Uh, I'll just wake up, you know, like from like a nap that I don't remember taking, and I'll like have like just like you know, very uh, boot cut jeans on with my hand on my pants and like a bud li- half finished Bud Light like resting on my belly. <laughs> You know you've um, hit full stage dad when you have uh, your t-shirts tucked into your into your pants. Ex- exactly. <laughs> With that, that a t-shirt that up. I got from uh, from work. Yeah. And like not even a place that I actually work. It's just like it's just like a shirt that says like conference '97. <laughs> I don't remember going to this conference. What's going on? What's this school function I'm wearing? <laughs> yeah. I don't even have kids. <laughs> this like jamboree. <laughs> I don't remember a jamboree. <laughs> Which of my 12 children did I take to a jamboree? <laughs> Is it Jim? Did I take Jim to the jam? I can't recall. So anyway, yeah, this weekend I was, we were fixing up our, our backyard because uh-huh. um, it's nice to have a project that you can actually handle and uh, complete in a weekend. Uh, it fills you with that nice false sense of uh, confidence. Uh, uh-huh. Just being able to complete a project uh, makes you feel like you have some semblance of control over your life. It's a good feeling. Um, and uh, our backyard is full of spiders. Uh, and we were talking to our neighbors uh, like after we had completed all this yard work and we're like, yeah, we saw a lot of spiders out there. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, there's a ton of black widows out there. I don't know if you oh, noticed. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. So I've been slightly worried that um, that I've got like a black widow, like maybe just kind of like living in some crevice. Just in set my body. fire to all your shoes now. Uh huh. A, a I guess it's, yeah. strike. It's very expensive living out here because you do have to set fire to your shoes every time you're outside. Every weekend. Uh-huh. I, uh, you just. I went camping uh, a couple of years ago. Oh yeah. And we were camping in some spot. I forgot where it was. Nice, nice humble brag, by the uh, way. <laughs> Get it. Well, thank you. Um, and uh, every morning we had to check to see if there were rattlesnakes in our shoes and Why would scorpions. It... Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And it was it was not an experience I ever thought that I wanted to have, and I was right. <laughs> I never want that experience ever so again. Super correct. Like, oh, am I gonna die today? Let me check my shoes. Upon reflection, do you think that the rattlesnakes wanted to like? wear the shoes as a fashion accessory for their rattle. You know, Like they a... wanted to like shove themselves in it like Richard Scary style so that they could be like a snake that's got like a cool like a cool shoe and it kind of hops around. Was that like the, the snake's goal? Oh, now I feel sad for kicking out some snakes out of my shoes. Yeah, you were, they were just trying to like, you know, they, they were just trying to up their fashion game and here you were being like, I don't want you in my shoes. Get out of my life. Like you could have 
revolutionized uh, the fashion, the world of fashion snakes. Fashion snakes. That could have been the new thing. Think about it, Julia. Like, you roll up back from the camping trip, and I was like, "Oh, hey, Julia, how was your trip?" It's like, "Oh, pretty good. Uh, I just, you know, I ruined I'm evolution. in charge. Yeah, I'm in charge of an entire network of sartorial snakes now. Uh, it's my company. We've got a Kickstarter. Check it out. Uh, it's called I want to put I want to put snakes in shoes, and that's in that's the new pet. That's the new pet that everyone has. Yeah, shoe snakes. I imagine that there's some tumbler of uh, those smiling looking snakes uh, in shoes wearing oh, yeah. like cute little hats. We were talking about this before. Um, I've been watching a lot of X-Files recently and there's an yes. episode with like a big snake in it and like the snake is supposed to be like scary uh, and demonic but okay. it's one of those like ball pythons that's just so fat and dumb looking <laughs> that it like it's just this this big smiley snake that you can't help but laugh at, uh, which I really enjoy. I like that like the, the more terrifying a snake is, the happier it looks, I guess, because it knows that it's, you know, at the top of its food chain. Yeah. This is a pretty good beard. Well, thanks. I, I'm, I'm making it bigger so that you have you've more space to add stuff in. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so... Um, yeah. So we got to draw. I'm... Yeah. When you're... I'm, I'm ready think, to take yeah, over. I think I'm done. Cool. Uh, you want to save that, and I'll pull it up on my screen. Yes, sir. On my sc- All right. The magic, the magic of internet. I will, I will get it. I will claim this drawing. It has been saved. Okay. So I yeah, will... I got it. All right, here we go. All right. Pulling it up on my end. Okay. Close so it. So we got to draw what's in here. So first of all, if you don't mind, uh, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a little chunk out of the beard. Go for it, dude. So I feel like. I think that I, I like what we were saying before about uh, this being like Nathan's like secret twin oh. uh, that's been living in his beard, and I think it's finally it's fully matured. I don't know if it's like a if it's like a parasite. I think that his beard might be a full on parasite, uh, and I think what's happening is that the beard, uh, the reason that it's matured, okay. is because it needed to to fully mature. The beard needs uh, it needs sustenance. Okay. But um, Nathan has been neglecting its primary form of sustenance, which is tomatoes, because he doesn't like tomatoes. <laughs> so what tomatoes. I think is happening is that the beard is forcing, is going to be forcing Nathan to eat tomatoes. <laughs> I'm going to move the eyes up a little bit. This this would be an episode of X Files. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is like one of the one of the one off ones where, in like, you know, like you 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 see that Cancer Man isn't in the credits, and you're just like, ah, oh, dang it, this is going to be like just a weird one. Yeah. It's a, like, yeah, they find Nathan dead. <laughs> it's that follow-up to that episode I was talking about uh, earlier yeah. with you of that uh, where Mulder looks at a drawing of Bigfoot <laughs> yeah. and just goes, "Yeah, that's that's what we're looking for." Yeah, Mulder that looks at it. this. Mulder looks at this drawing that like, it's like someone on the scene did this drawing. It's like so bad. <laughs> it's like I don't think this means anything. We're we're like just as far away from figuring this out as we were when we started. Scully, look Further at this away, doodle actually. I found by this random man. <laughs> this is definitely the solution. No, Mulder, it's not. Really, it's not. <laughs> Alright, so let me draw up. That's a tomato, right? Yeah, I, it's kind of looking like an apple. What? what how do you make a tomato? Alright, I yeah, just gotta go. have like a little like, yeah, alright. Yeah, and I'll, it's got more spikies. It's got, you also gotta like have a little, little sheen to it. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm gonna add some, some sweat in here too. Uh, I feel like... So maybe that's like the, this is like the, uh, it, it needs more coming out of it though, I think. Yes. So like maybe there should be like multiple attacks on multiple sides. Such a powerful get... twin needs more power. Mm-hmm. I think, it, yeah, it's like, oh, hold on, I'm going to draw the little face here. <laughs> I guess maybe they share a mouth. I think that's what it is. Give me a second. Yeah. So they share a mouth. Okay. I'm going to draw that, put that there. So this is the mouth. So like then I guess uh, this is. Uh, what, what is Nathan's twin's name? Huh. Would it, I feel like he would have, you know. I don't know. Would it, would it be a play on Nathan? Like Blathan? <laughs> Blathan. Blathan. Beard Nathan. Blathan uh, the evil twin. <laughs> it has to be yeah, evil because go- Nathan's just so nice. You can't. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going There's going Blathan. to be a struggle. Uh, Blathan. So I guess, like, yeah. Let me draw its other, its other arm. Uh-huh. And then I guess that its feet would be coming out somewhere else. <laughs> I really feel like its feet, yeah. its feet, feet are in Nathan's brain. <laughs> the bottom of the beard makes Blathan look like he has a little cowlick. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. He's got like a trendy little haircut. He's like haircut. a little troll. Yeah. He's like a little gym, gym troll. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's going to be fun. I'm going to flip this over at the end, and that'll be the final image that we see. Yes. 
All right. So I feel like he's got another tomato in this hand. Yeah. Just like, just really, just like he needs these. Once, once he can like get Nathan to eat a tomato, he will, he will be able to like fully sprout and uh, and, and depart. That's why Would they have such a tumultuous. Take the beard with him. Do it. Yes. Okay. Uh, and also Nathan's Nathan's strength. Oh, All of Nathan's. That's sad. Yeah, it's a bummer. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna draw. It's like a really weird Samson. Yeah, <laughs> that's what. No, that was the deal with Samson. It was the actual deal. Is that it was um, he had a a, paras- a parasitic hair. He had a parasitic evil twin in his hair. Yes, that's um. And it the, just escaped. Plot, that's a plot of my my new uh, anime called uh. <laughs> Samson Files. <laughs> Samson uh, Files. And it's about uh, a parasitic race of beards that infected people in uh, early, um, you know, Mediterranean and, uh, you know, uh, in the early, in the in the Fertile Crescent, early on in human civilization. Uh huh. And that's where the myth of Samson comes from. Okay, can we it. slip in "Don't Lose Your Way" from uh, Kill, <laughs> Kill into this anime somewhere, please? I think it should just be. Pla- I'm going to actually edit out our dialogue. And just replace it with that, uh, so it'll just be that'll just be playing constantly instead of us talking, and that'll actually make for a better video. Yeah, just end it on a sudden cut to uh, Bleepin's <laughs> face, and then just shake it violently to the chorus of "Don't lose your <laughs> way." Don't lose your way. <laughs> I think we're about done here. I'm gonna color in this yeah. hair, just to give it a little, uh, just to you know, give it, I, I like this dramatic shading that you put on there too. It really helps. Uh, to show how intense uh, and like how, how desperate Nathan is, how yeah. bad the situation has gotten. He's known about this for a while too. He has. Like, he's like, been oh, hiding no. it for. My yeah, it's like, it's has like been the, revealed. It's like the zombie bite. He like he knew that this was coming, and he just like was afraid. Yeah. Afraid to tell anyone. All right. <laughs> um, so you add some sweat in here, yeah. and then I think for the final touch, let's uh, let's flip this over and see what it looks like. Sound good? Yes, I'm right. slightly worried, but sure. Whoop. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. <laughs> There's a guy. He looks weirdly happy, like There's Grinch Blayton. happy. <laughs> he is happy. He's finally his, his day in the sun has finally come. He's got a mean bo- he got a mean top lip. I like that. Yeah, your um the uh your your classic uh horseshoe, horseshoe mouth. mouth really like really looks even better upside down, I would say. Uh, I forgot yeah. to, I should make his nose uh yeah, there we go. He's got a little nose poking out. Okay. All right. Well, uh, guys, I think that's all the time we have. Uh, all the time we have time for today, which is I keep saying, and that is always wrong, but <laughs> I'll never stop saying it because I, I kind of like roll it with now. it. So this is Blathan, uh, the secret parasite that lives in Nathan's beard. Um, please uh, do not give Nathan a tomato if you ever see him. Uh, number one, because it's rude, because it's a sign of heckling. Number two, because it would kill him, because yes. the beard would take over. Yeah. Uh, Julia, thank you so much for joining me today. Anytime, uh, Caldwell. Ju- Julia works for dorkly.com, if you didn't realize. Uh, go to that website and look at her cool drawings all the time. Um, <laughs> I will talk to you later. Uh, we will be doing more of these shows every day uh, because that's what we do. So please subscribe, watch more, like it. I don't care. Suggest stuff to us. Yes, do that as well. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs>